All right, let's find the uh, NV and M uh, at point C and point D. So two separate problems. Um, all right, but let's look at the whole free body diagram. And actually, I'm going to let you see if you can calculate this BY. And here's a pin, so we've got AX and AY. Um, so, for, so for the whole free body diagram, uh, did you get... Or could you get that BY is 8.48 kilonewtons, AX is 0, and AY 3.52 kilonewtons? So you got to know everything we've already done. You got to know how to do distributed loads. But I sum the forces in X equals 0, sum the force in Y equals 0, sum the moments equals 0 for the whole free body diagram to solve for that right there. So now once I've got that, let me draw that. This is 8.48, this is 0, and this is 3.52. Once you draw that, then you're ready to, or, or once you do the whole free body diagram, then you're ready to cut and uh, solve for the internal N, V, and M. Let's, I think I'm going to start right here. And which side should I keep? I, I could keep this half or this half. It's not exactly half, but I could keep either side. Uh, I'd like to keep the simpler side. So I'm going to cut it and keep that simpler side. So here we go. So here's my cut right here. So draw the N. Draw the N out of the cut, right? Positive sign convention. Draw the V down here. So I, I've kind of turned my head a little bit, right? V down here, M right there. All right, and then what do I have acting on it? I have this 3.52 kilonewtons right there. All right, so now I'm ready to sum the force in x equals zero, sum the force in y equals zero, sum the moments equals zero. This dimension, this is only two meters from there to there. All right, but what should I choose as my axes? You can choose your own axes, right? And you're setting it equal to zero. So whether you choose some different ones, we're setting them equal to zero. So, you know, yours could be all positive. Mine could all be all negative um, if we choose, you know, a different direction to be positive or negative. And so I think, I think it makes more sense to align my axes along the member instead of the usual vertical. Why? Uh, well, I only have three forces, N, V, and this 3.52. And two out of the three are more aligned to those axes, and one is aligned to my, my standard one. So if more vectors than not are aligned along a certain direction, maybe choose those to be your axes. So I'm going to choose those, and I'm summing the forces in this direction. All right, so that's going to be N. And then this one is going to be, let's see, what is that component? Uh, well, this is a 45-degree angle. You can't go wrong with 45 degrees. Um, but I think this might have ended up being, you know, the supplementary to, or the complementary to 45, which is 45. Uh, but so this would be, uh, minus 3.52, I'll say cosine 45 equals zero. So N is 2.49 kilonewtons. It came out positive. I'm leaving, you know, boxing that in. Uh, summing the forces in the Y direction. I've got negative V. And positive 3.52 sine 45 equals 0. V comes out to be positive 2.49. Now, these usually will not come out to be the same answer. You can see why they are, because the only other force is that 3.52, and it's at a 45-degree angle, so sine and cosine 45 are the same. Uh, so don't, you know, don't think they'll be the same. So now, some of the moments. You can sum the moments at any point. I like some moments about the cut. Uh, so M goes, or sorry, N goes straight through the cut. V goes straight through the cut. M, and what do you want to choose positive? You can choose, you know, you've got to draw them in the positive sign convention, but then you can choose your axes, whatever you want to call positive. So I'm summing the moments about the cut. Let me move this over here. Summing the moments about the cut. Uh, N goes straight through it. V goes straight through it. I, I do have, have the M, positive M. And then, let's see, uh, this component right there, 3.52 sine 45, is acting a perpendicular distance of 2 away, creating a negative moment. 
Uh, set that equal to zero, and I would get an M of positive 4.98 kilonewton meters. All the forces were in kilonewtons, all the dimensions were in meters. And so that is the answer for um, point C. All right, now for point D, um, it's kind of kind of a new problem. Don't don't take any of these values or anything. Don't 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 take this free body diagram or that cut. Let's just redo it and let's start up here. And I think I'm going to keep this right side looks a little bit simpler, doesn't it? Right. So I'm going to cut it right here. And on this right hand side, I had a by of eight point four eight. Then I had a distributed load. Now. Originally, I probably took this distributed load, right, for my whole free body diagram. I took this distributed load, and I replaced it with one force right here. What it would be 12 kilonewtons, right? And that's fine for the whole free body diagram. But now that I'm cutting it, I need to redo that. I need to redo that. I need to look at just this part of the distributed load and act like that's by itself. So it's two kilonewtons per meter over three meters. And so this would be, this would be six kilonewtons at 1.5, 1.5, right? I, I replaced this rectangular distributed load, the only part that I could see of it. So, so anyway, you know, redo that distributed load. Don't, don't try to place a 12, you know, right at the cut or something like that. All right, so I've got this 8.48 and then N. See, I drew it v, v, drew it that way, and M, right? I drew that positive sign convention. I'm, I'm kind of coming from the other direction than I, than I have been doing. But do you see that N is out? V would create like a, you know, would make the, the thing move uh, clockwise. And M is smiley face. So in this case, my positive M is clockwise. All right, so I think now I am ready. Let's define my axes. Now I'm going to go back to these axes. And let's sum the forces in X. Negative N equals 0, so N equals 0. Uh, summing the forces in Y, uh, V is pointed up, 6 is pointed down, 8.48 is pointed up. So I would get V is negative 2.48, and I'm going to leave it as negative 2.48. And then summing the moment, let me do that, let me give myself room. Summing the moment about the cut. Positive that way. All right, so N goes straight through it, V goes straight through it, but let me do that M. Do you see why I'm going to put that negative M? Do you see why I'm going to put that negative M? Yes, it is in the positive sign convention, right? It is in the positive sign convention, but this equation that I'm setting equal to zero, I, I just need to choose what I want to be positive or negative, and so I, I generally always choose counterclockwise positive, and so this is is according to my you know axes so this is going to be a negative m because it would create a it's a clockwise this 6 1.5 that would be negative because it's clockwise and then 8.48 times 3 would be positive set that equal to zero and i would get an m of 16.4 kilonewton meters so that is the internal moment at, you know, if we were to cut it at point D. So this is D. That was the internal moment at C. All right. So let's kind of take a step back a little bit. What we did. Whole free body diagram to solve for AX and AY and BY, and then cut it, draw NV and N positive sign convention, and then set those, equal, sum those equal to zero. And then if my answer comes out negative, leave it as negative and box it in.